Yo, what is up guys? My name is Kecleo and welcome to a little project I've actually been working on. Ever since I've seen the Reddit post from Shredster7, when I saw this amazing dungeon crawler room, I'm like, hmm, might as well make myself a little dungeon that is randomly generated. So that's actually what I've been working on. I've been working on building each one of these rooms so they will be randomly generated along a map. They'll actually be generated in a grid form. Each one of these grids is 16 by 16, which is equivalent to a chunk. So these two will be generating right next to each other like this and this can actually connect to each other, but here and here will not be able to. I'll actually be labeling each one of these rooms like that'll be, I guess, number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on and so forth. And number three cannot connect to number four like this way, but three will actually be able to connect to four that way up here like if three was up here then three could connect to four in that kind of way also i've added things on the top such as command blocks and command block minecarts which can actually test your relative positioning as well as it can tell yeah there's your relative positioning as well as a number amount of zombies to spawn in here so then i'll be spawning in some zombies so that you can actually have a challenge to be fighting against so you actually leave right here and come back in there we go, the zombies actually spawned and you can actually fight them to take them down in the dungeon. We'll say this is one of the dungeons and they'll spawn right here. No, dun no zombies will actually spawn until any other or all of the zombies are actually killed. So that I can leave here and come back and the zombies will now spawn again. Also something I've been using for the system of the dungeon crawler I guess you could say is a key system where you're actually oop, they're loud where you can actually put in a key i'm going to be using a compass probably as a key oop, give me my key and you can take this key right here and it seems like there's already one in there you could place one level one key here and if you place the level one key in there it'll actually open up the or it'll close this up and allow you to walk across the lava into the next area of the dungeon this will actually lead to a portal, which will go to the next dungeon, which will probably be a different color than this red. In order to get this key, you actually have to fight a boss, which I actually have a boss room made out of four of the individual rooms. So it'll be equivalent to about four rooms. And you walk into there and it'll actually spawn in a boss, which when you're first in the very first boss, you'll have a leather cap, which you get from the beginning and a stone sword. So with these, you can actually fight our first boss, which I will say it is pretty difficult to fight it with only this gear. Oh, and there we go. Ah, it's zombie pigmen and his. there's the king right there and their little army, which they actually have some protection on their boots, quite a bit of protection, and knockback on their swords. The king has much more knockback and actually has sharpness on his swords. Oh no. You're gonna take me out. Yep. <laughs> so it's actually quite a difficult. Oh, hello. Quite a difficult boss in here. No, he's gonna kill me. Okay, yes, this will be your living quarters in which you can actually live. Yes, you can store all your equipment in here. Here's your play sword and your leather cap that you'll actually be starting out with, as well as your bed. Now, this is pretty cool that I've started to do. You actually have a fatigue bar, which is your hunger bar. You don't actually use hunger because while you're inside of the game, your health does not regenerate. Thank you. And in order to regenerate your health, you actually have to come into here, which this will actually heal you up nice and good, as well as if your hunger is running low, which is actually your fatigue, you can sleep in the bed, which it'll always be nighttime as long as you're in this room. And as long as you're in the dungeon, it'll always be daytime. So zombies and stuff don't spawn outside of the dungeon walls. Right here is actually the teleporter, which will teleport you to the dungeon. It'll, te it'll only teleport you to the red dungeon in the beginning. And when you find the exit of the red dungeon, you're actually able to go through there to the next dungeon, which will probably be the lapis and sandstone blue dungeon. I'll probably be using all of these different types of blocks to be doing the different types of dungeons in there, such as, yes, the lapis and sandstone, 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 as well as the andesite and these double slabs. I'll be using probably many different things such as the block right, or such as the face right here of the piston and so on and so forth. Also how I want this to work is I want all of these to generate by command block, which right here is the spawn chunks. So I wouldn't be surprised if, oh, 
screenshot. I wouldn't be surprised if the Y right here goes all the way from block one all the way to 255, just covered in command blocks and things to be doing the algorithms and just spawning in all of the structures such as this. So I actually can't wait for this map to be finished and I'll be posting probably another update on this map as it comes along. But my name is Kekleo and I'll see you in the next episode. Later. Thank <laughs> you.